Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 10 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement localization in Laravel. So if any of you don't know about localization like what localization is so let me give you an example so that you can understand it. For example let's say if you want to uh, uh, if you want your website to support multiple languages you can do it with the help of localization actually okay so we will see that in details in this specific video so yeah guys let's start and like always i have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop in which i have created all the necessary steps in order to implement the localization procedure simpler and uh, easier to understand so yeah guys let's move to step number one which says that first of all we need to create a fresh laravel project or we can use an existing laravel project it's totally up to you so if you have laravel globally installed you can simply use this command okay otherwise you will have to use this command which is for non-global laravel installation okay so in both the cases local will be your uh, installation project name so in this case local i uh, in this case i will create a folder like this why reason being because i already have a project with local and that was related to hindi urdu lecture okay so in my case i have already created this project right here so that i can save some time right here you can see okay and let's move to git bash and right here you can see i have already accessed it okay so now i can simply jump to step number two once you are done with step number one you can jump to step number two as well okay so step number two install the localization package i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce it but i think it's sam kamara or kamara i'm not sure sorry for that okay so i'm just going to copy this and pay uh, i will move to git bash and i'm just going to paste it so this command is going to take some time for the execution so i'm going to pause the video to save some time okay guys so we have successfully installed our package right here you can see okay now we can simply move to step number three which says that we need to publish the localization configuration in order for you to let's say if you want to make some changes uh, to the localization file you can uh, you have to publish this file first so, okay so i will move to git bash and i'm going to just paste this command right here hit enter and now we will see one more file in the config and with the name laravel localization.php so right here you can find all the languages right here it's a huge amount okay but in order to use it you need to uh, let's say uncomment it out just like this so uh, that's about it okay so in my case i'm not going to do that and i'm going to go with the uh, default languages english and spanish okay for the testing of video purpose okay so let's move down so it's up to you if you want any of these language you can simply uncomment it out and there are some more details let me move down okay and you can read the documentation here as well and i will show you the documentation link as well right here okay which i'm using so you can simply use that as well for the reference okay let's move to sublime okay so there are many options that you can do assign parameter true or false and if you want to pass any parameter this uh, a lot of stuff okay so you can look into this file okay let's move forward to notepad file step number four register the localization middleware so i'm just going to copy this okay and let's move to kernel.php which is inside app http and kernel so let's move down and i'm going to paste it right here that's about it now let's move to step number five which says that we need to uh, add this route group okay in web.php i'm going to copy it with the help of comment as well so that you can understand it so now let's move to web.php okay and i'm just going to paste it right here that's it okay let's close this kernel file and i want to show you something but for that we need the html file so let's move to step number six replace welcome blade with this html code or create a fresh blade it's totally up to you in my case i'm going to replace the code okay so let's copy the html code and let's move to resources views welcome i'm going to do Control a and paste everything right here okay now it's saved so now we should uh, first test this out so php artisan serve hyphen hyphen port 8080 okay now let's move to google right here let's access our project okay guys so this is our layout uh, which i'm using uh, as a reference this is bootstrap 4 related template okay so yeah guys uh, you can see uh, we have uh, some options languages etc i have already created that uh, my own help okay so yeah let's move forward next thing i want to show you is now uh, if you see this route is outside other pages 
that shouldn't support localization you can define it outside of this group okay but once let's say if you want any specific route to support localization you have to put it right here okay so yeah now let's see what it is going to do so my route is defined right here in this group now let's move here and i'm just going to do a refresh and uh, keep an eye here in the url okay and let's see the changes so let's do a refresh and now you can see it is showing us the default language slash en if you don't define any language english would be by default okay you can change that as well okay so slash en now let's try to access es and let's see what happens es and we are able to access it if you see here we don't have a route for that so let me show you another example let's try ur that is related to urdu so page not found why reason being because i haven't enabled this supported uh, as a supported local okay so if i do that i will be able to access it right here as well so let me give, give you a hint what's going on right here so guys whenever we define a route right here it is going to create multiple routes out of that based on the supported local that you have uncommented so in my case i have only uh, i'm using only two languages english and spanish so in the back end for the understanding let's understand it like this so it is creating two routes for us something like this okay at the back end en okay and es that's why we are able to access it we don't need to define it but this is how uh, uh, let's say this is for the better understanding this is what's going on at the back end okay so we will have two different route or in let's say if you have three languages you will have a three different route that you can access so that's what's going on okay let's move here now your question would be let's say why is it supporting the ponial language or spanish language right here how can we do that for that we need to define the translation as well we are going to see that in the next step okay so let's move to step number seven which says that we need to publish the lang folder so i'm just going to copy it first let's move to sublime right here you can see at least in laravel 10 the lang folder is not there by default neither inside the resources nor right here so if i just paste this command i will stop my project and i'm going to paste this command and let's hit, hit enter and now you will see a new folder lang okay and inside of it we have an english language right here you can see some files with keys and name etc okay so you don't need to worry about this if uh, i'm going to show you one example if you understand it correctly you will be able to understand it as well okay so just be with me okay uh, and just want to show you that for the step number eight video is your reference okay so yeah now what i'm going to do since i am uh, my website in this case is going to support two languages english and esponial so i have to create two separate folder english is already there with en i have to create one more with the short abbreviation let's say en or e uh, it's different britain language or you can see the code in the supported local as well laravel localization file okay so in my case my website support two languages so i will have two folder one with the name uh, uh, en and one with the name es so i'm just going to put it right here see okay so it's empty now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new file inside this en folder so let's do that new file and i'm going to name it message.php and i'm going to use short form msg.php you can name it whatever you want now i'm going to create a, a, the same file inside this es folder okay and the name would be same as i said msg.php okay now let's close this one okay now i will move to message.php that is related to english and i'm going to start code uh, define some code right here return associative array and i'm going to put site name you will be able to understand just give me some time okay and right here i'm going to define my website name actually using languages localization we don't need to put some uh, most of the things uh, like statically okay we are doing it statically but right here in this file it's all about laravel not with the html code okay so next thing i want is actually let me move here home about language and yeah that's about it so let's do home one key for home and the value would be let's say home okay and then i have one more let's say about and the value is about okay and then there is because it is english so we don't need a translation here okay so language and for language i am going to assign language 
just like that and i'm going to create one more which we are going to use uh, actually we are going to use it in the later part of our video that's why i'm creating it okay so just don't worry about it so test okay and then we can simply align our code okay so let's copy this and i'm going to paste it right here in the es file spanish file as well but here i need to define the translation so i will move to google translate right here and let's start with the beginning i'm not going to change the site name so i'm going to start with the home what do we call home in spanish so we need to translate it spanish just like that okay and this is what the translation looks like so i'm just going to paste it in the spanish file okay so now i'm going to do the rest and i'm going to pause the video to save some time okay guys so as you can see i am done with the translation okay i used google translate as defined previously okay so now we have our translation now we need to define it in the blade file as i said we don't need to for uh, now in this case uh, since we have our file ready we don't need to define it statically we can use the key and the values directly from this message file so let's do that and let's start with the site name okay site name should be same because i don't want to uh, let's say change it to spanish so we can simply use underscore underscore and the value so message dot site okay just like that and uh, right here i'm simply going to copy it here and change it with the uh, home okay and with here with about let's say about about and here with the language so language okay now let's move here let's since it is in spanish so it should translate now let's do a refresh okay if there is no mistake actually my project is not running so let's run this project and let's do a refresh so now you can see our data is translated with the help of message and the key and it is going to display the value okay so i hope you understand now we have more options as i said previously uh let me show you with the english language as well so let me change it here here en and you can see that language is translated now to english okay guys now one more thing uh let's say furthermore as i said previously that it is going to create multiple routes based on the language supported so what we can simply do let's say in this case now uh, i don't want to go to url and change it right here okay i don't want that so i want uh, it on the click let's say if i click on this uh, anchor tag i should be redirected to that specific language okay or we should change our language so for that i can simply go here and as i said it will it is going to create uh, multiple route based on the requirement so i will simply do en for english okay and i can simply copy this and paste it right here for spanish okay just like that and let's do a refresh okay now let's try it out english and you can see our data is translated into english language now okay and now let's try spanish and now you can see that different okay so yeah guys now let's see how can we redirect to another page with the translation for example if i have an about page and i want if the language is sele selected language is uh, english or spanish i want to direct uh, redirect respective okay uh, based on the language so in that case what we can do is if i go to the documentation you have a lot of options right here one of the helper function actually i created the documentation using this huh just keep that in mind okay for easy understanding so what i am going to do is i am going to copy this okay for the redirection we will we will see this in action okay so on about i want to redirect to about page there i have some data and i want to translate it okay so i am going to define a route so we are in this case we are using localized url so whatever language is selected we have to go to this specific page on specified or selected language that was selected previously okay just keep that in mind so i have simply created a route using localized url which is predefined function our method we can use so now i have to create a route so i am going to copy this okay that's why i created the that uh, test okay if you can see right here that's why we created this test 
okay in both the files okay now let's change the view to test okay which we are going to create right now so let's move to resources views and i'm going to create a new file and the name would be any guesses test dot blade dot PSP. okay and here i'm going to have basic html with about page title and h1 okay so now how can i define the test here it's really simple okay we have discussed this so message dot test you can have it in one file if you want a separate file you can also create it okay and in that case the case you will have to put the file name right here okay so this is right here okay yeah so i hope you understand now uh, we have everything in place we have a link we have a route okay and in this case just Keep that in mind since it was the home route or default route now uh, this is not a default route uh, actually okay here it should be something like this test okay because it is defined right here you can see okay slash test so on test now we will have our languages right here so first of all localhost then the language en or it could be es depends okay just keep that in mind now let's test it out so i'm just going to do a refresh okay now let's move to this about page and let's see what happens and right here you can see we are seeing the data in spanish language okay now let's move back and let's change the language and let's move to about and now we are seeing a data in english language so our localization is working perfectly fine so this package is really useful i have tried uh, to implement the localization uh, manually with my oh, let's say creating a middleware controller etc and you need a lot of uh, time for that but guys this is the most let's say easiest approach that you can use in any of your project there are a lot of function helper functions that you can use and there is a lot of stuff you can also pass parameter etc but i just want to show you one more last thing okay one last thing sorry so i will just copy this so right here you can see i'm defining these languages manually with the code li uh, uh, with the ulli you can see right here see so sorry uh, actually with an anchor tag sorry for that guys actually ally is right here okay so right here you can see it's a single ally uh, let's say nested and then we are defining our route so let's say if you don't want to do it and you have you want to for each let's say if you have 10 languages how will you define let's say you have to define 10 lines of code you can uh, do this one okay you can in that in those cases you can simply use this selector so i'm just going to move to sublime right here and just below the data right here description some description i'm going to put a div and i'm going to paste everything and now whatever languages are let's say supported in your application you will be able to see it right here so you can create an anchor tag or let's say a drop down out of it it's totally up to you and these links are also working so if i click on uh, spanish you will see the difference okay now let's move to english back and you will see the difference so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video and yeah guys uh, i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care